Ryan Fournier. I think a lot, but I don't know much for sure. What I think I know is subject to change. Still, there are some things I've come to believe. One that I consider important is this. From one-on-one -on -one interaction all the way up to the crossroads of nations, maybe one day planets, we are all better off working together with a spirit of friendship than fighting as enemies. Unless you come from a race of beings that can truly only survive by waging endless war, perhaps you literally feed on the concentrated misery of your vanquished foes. If you do, then perhaps friendship will not work in your favor. An example that comes to mind when I think about this stuff is my relationship with my brother. I think about how different the results of our friendship have been based on the spirit and the motives we carry into it. The music we make together has always been the centerpiece of our friendship. When we started playing together, something happened to us that was unmatched by any musical partnership and in ways by anything at all in either of our lives. When musicians or others come together, they become more than the sum of their parts. I had experienced that with others. This was on another level, though. It was like being in love, I guess. Together we became a new self, and that in turn put life into us as individuals. Life became an adventure. In those days, we truly appreciated each other. We forgave each other easily, and so, in spite of our differences, we accomplished a lot together. Our music and our lives became more than either of us could have imagined or accomplished alone. Forward a few years. At some point, our appreciation for each other became overshadowed by conflict of various kinds. I will simplify a complicated story here to make a basic point, and I will talk mostly about my own part. Once I became resentful, the positive potential of our relationship was impossible to really give into. I allowed my ego to be wounded, and once I did, I was too focused on defending it to care for our friendship. Whether we ought to have gone right or left is not the point. The point is this. The spirit of conflict blotted out the possibility of positive communion. It led to more conflict. Each time I chose pride over love, I further wounded that adventurous third person, that new self we had become. I think this idea applies at the communal, the national, and even the species level. Whether we want to or not, we have always been and always will be making a collective self out of our relationships with each other. Maybe this is a bit of a stretch, but I see it as a genuine third person, a spirit of its own. It is made up of what we carry into our interactions with each other. We all have to live with it. I do not see this as mystical. War and peace are spirits. I'm not saying we should be passive. We should be active and alive, and sometimes in being so, we find ourselves at an impasse with another person or group. There are some who seek to harm and take advantage of the world around them, and we should not hesitate to defend what we believe is worthwhile. There are predators of all kinds who ought to be challenged. Sometimes wars must be fought, but we should not let the marching drum become the soundtrack to our lives. Our collective self can be of love and adventure, of learning and appreciation. It cannot be these things, though, if we live our lives as being pitted against one another. I do not advocate striving for perfection because that is an obsession and it is impossible. That comes with its own darkness. We should pay attention to the collective self we are creating though. I think even conflicts can be groundwork for growth and appreciation given the right spirit and the right motives. Wherever we are going, we will be better off as friends than as enemies. It is a choice we all make even when we have to fight. <laughs>